All right. So we're back with the main event. Caius versus Trogdor. <laughs> so. Uh, having soundly beat your ass on initiative, uh, I think Caius is going to... Uh, inch forward just a bit to right about there. And as he does so, and kind of cackles maniacally to himself, he eases to a stop right about there. And you see the head sort of tilt back before opening to, um, before swinging forward with the mouth opening to emit another terrible scream like what you heard coming from the skull back in the throne room. This one though, doesn't seem to stop. It just carries on and on, grating on your very uh, physical well-being. And Trogdor, I need you to make a constitution save. 21. OK. Um, so you, you feel you feel yourself go weak at the knees for a second, but you're able to summon up the courage that you draw from, from the power you pull from Bahamut and uh, your companion Norganoth and your friends, and you're able to summon up the strength to carry on. Let's see. I think that will do it for Caius's turn. What's Trogdor doing? I guess I'm going to move a little closer. One, two, four. And then I will use Sacred Flame. Okay. Ooh. Dex save. <laughs> That's a 21 on the Dex save. <laughs> <laughs> so you go and then cast this brilliant, almost white flame at the uh, hovering skull, and it just sort of uh, ducks. And, and is able to entirely uh, dodge out of the way of your sacred flame. Right. And bonus action, I want to recast Shield of Faith onto myself. <laughs> okay. And uh, that brings your AC to 23. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything yeah. else? That's, That's it? it? Okay. Um... So then Caius, at the end of your turn, is going to use a legendary action. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, and as he does so, you feel or you, you hear this sharp inhale as the skull in front of you again opens its mouth and you just hear <gasps> I need you to make another constitution save. Well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so your hit point maximum is going to go down.
by 15. Oh. Um, at this point, now we actually get to Caius's turn. And uh, let me roll something. OK. Um, I think the long inhale just sort of continues. <coughs> and uh, you, you can feel this, almost like a piece of you is being drawn out of your body toward the open mouth of the skull. Um, I need you to make another constitution saving throw. This guy is thirsty. <laughs> he is indeed. Oh, a 10. Oh, fantastic. OK. Um, do these cause me to have to make concentration checks? Anytime you take damage, yeah. All right, so 10 or higher, so two times. OK. OK. Um, well, yeah, the, the first one would, have, would be DC 10. And then the second one, uh, it's going to deal more than, uh, more than oh, yeah. double that DC of 10. So your, your DC on this <laughs> is actually 11. So you're all right. You maintain your uh, concentration. But uh, after the one that decreased your maximum by 15, then your just total now is going to be decreased by 23, as you take 23 points of necrotic damage. Whoa. OK. Uh, going out so well. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think Caius just hovers there and laughs. <laughs> OK. Trogdor, what are you doing? I'm getting right on top of it. Um, uh, I got to be the down before it beats me down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> first swing. OK, you swing. And, and much like the skull in the throne room, you're about to make contact, and then some magical force just kind of almost catches your weapon and prevents you from landing the attack. Like a swing. Same thing. You, you wind back for another attack and bring your mace down, arcing over your head like you're about to crack this thing open. But it just <sighs> stops about half an inch shy of making contact. <laughs> um, clutching my butt cheeks and praying to bomb. <laughs> 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 That's in my turn. Okay. Um, well. Uh, OK, so Caius, then, um, with a legendary action, is going to begin uh, muttering something in a similar language to uh, what you heard its what you heard his uh, his minion speaking earlier. Um, and in this harsh, guttural language, it strings together a number of words. And as he finishes, um, I need you to make a wisdom save. Oh, I'm good at those. Just out of curiosity, does Norganoth know Abyssal? What? Does Norganoth know Abyssal? Uh, he does not. Ah. Figure dragons he... are pretty smart. Okay. Um, 
So you make the save. And so you're able to fight off whatever um, foul curse he was trying to place on you. Now we get to his actual turn. And uh, I think if it were possible to smile with nothing but a skull, that's what you would see Kai is doing right now. And he says, yes, keep fighting. Keep showing me your strength. And the mouth opens again, and you hear this. <gasps> and I need you to make a constitution save. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. All right. Uh, you take 15 points of necrotic damage. So I just take the damage. I don't lose max health. You do not lose max health, no. Yeah, and actually, it looks like... Did you decrease your max health for the last hit? Because you shouldn't have. Well, I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, so there was there was a 15 that did decrease your max. <coughs> and then there was the 23, which did not decrease your max. It was just the damage? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Still looks <laughs> Uh, and I think that's going to be it. Caius is not giving an inch. He's right there in your face as you're trying to swing on him and just not able to break through yet. Um, yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I need to look for my channel divinity thing real quick. Okay. Um... Okay, um, use my Vow of en Enmity. As a bonus action, you can utter a Vow of Enmity against a creature you can see within 10 feet of you using your channel divinity. You gain advantage on attack rolls against the creature for one minute or until it drops to zero hit points or falls unconscious. Okay. So I'm going to use that as my bonus action. And then I will, uh, Use my two attacks. Okay. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. First one, you, you wind back and uh, bring the mace down. This time it's already beginning to glow as you uh, uh, start to... Uh, arc it downward toward this floating <laughs> skull, and this time it is able to break through whatever uh, force was keeping you at bay before. And ooh, let's see, that's a good bit of damage. Uh, yeah, but smite rolled max. Nice. <coughs> well, so did the radiant damage on the face. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so that was a nasty first hit. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, Ugh, this one, though, uh, Caius is, like, reeling, and I think um, it's more to do with him, like, kind of resituating and recovering. Like, you swing, and you swing it where he is, but as he writes himself, uh, it just so happens that the mace kind of... Uh, goes careening like right under him and uh yeah you just don't connect all right that's uh end of my turn hmm okay um all right with his legendary action 
he is going to um, stare at you and you see the uh, bluish light in his eyes intensify. And again, you feel as though something is just being drawn out of your body towards him. I need you to make another constitution save. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, but you're able to fight it. And even though it gives you this like chill down the back of your spine, you don't feel whatever he just did uh, has had any effect on you. Um, I think the skull kind of hovers even closer now, getting like right up eye to eye with you. And he just says, give up. <laughs> and you see the mouth hang open again, and you hear <laughs> that familiar inhaling sound. I need you to make another con save. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, Twelve. Okay. Well, this isn't going to decrease your max. But... You take 20 points of necrotic damage. Oh. And as you do so, and you see, uh, this time, it, it's almost, you can almost physically see something leaving your form and beginning to kind of swirl around the skull that's hovering in front of you. Um, and as it does that, you see the cracks that you had caused with your mace begin to uh, reform and reattach themselves. as the hovering skull in front of you is looking considerably better. All right, that's it for Caius. Trogdor, what are you doing? Oh, let's see what I got for my spell. Bonus action. Okay, the Shield of Faith doesn't seem to be helping, so I want to Hunter's Mark him. Okay. My bonus action. Uh, see, now or never. And, uh,. Raise up my mace again, and I will try and hit him two more times. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to be with advantage uh, twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, twenty hits. I take the first damage, so uh, nine combined between those. Want to add some might to it? Okay. Nine plus another eleven for twenty points of damage. And for the last hit. Okay, yeah, 23 hits. Um, well, I also have to add the two hunter mark damages. Oh, yeah, do that. Okay, let me total that up. 14. Okay, so you swing and you you are somehow you've you've broken through whatever magical protection is surrounding this skull hovering in the air in front of you, and you slam it once with the mace, and it like knocks it uh, almost like kind of uh, dislodging the jaw for a moment, and you see it kind of right itself and <laughs> pop the jaw back into place. And you follow up with a second hit and just bam, again, even harder this time. Um, I think you can see this, this visible um, indentation like in the cheek 
area, uh, like the cheekbone of the skull, um, to, to a point where you can actually see through what was once a solid uh, chunk of bone. And yet, it still hovers there, staring at you. I, uh, just, uh, look back at the group, specifically Norgana. And I just, uh, with the hand holding the shield, give him, like, a thumbs up and smile. And then turn back to face Caius. Okay. Um... Yeah, you, you hear that voice kind of reverberating around the room now. It says, you fought well. You nearly finished me. But it was not enough. And again, that sickly inhaling sound as you feel, uh, again, this, this tugging at something inside of you. Go ahead and make a constitution save. An eight. Oof, okay. So I think we move our perspective back a little bit. And those of you <laughs> who have been watching, uh, seeing all of this happening in the light, um, you see, all of you now can see a physical um, stream of something being pulled out of Trogdor's body and beginning to wrap itself around uh, this skull that's floating there in the air. And uh, it becomes slightly uh, less damaged in appearance. You can see a few of the shards that might have broken off begin to kind of um, float back up and just lodge themselves back in their proper places as, let's roll some damage. <clears throat> Trogdor takes 23 points of necrotic damage. All right, that puts me down. All right, so as that happens, Trogdor goes limp, and you hear the loud clanging of first the shield, then the mace, and then the heavy armored body of Trogdor sprawling out across the cavern floor. Those of you who are there, are you doing anything? Uh, can I walk up to him and do a medicine check to see if he's, well, to see if I can stabilize him or is he just dead, dead? Um, well, I will say that as he is lying there, um, Caius does not seem to be stopping whatever he's doing. Oh. So, so he's, he's dead. Um, soon, probably. I mean, if he's still doing something to the body, maybe not right now, but... Um, yeah, I mean, you could probably close and attempt to do something if you want. I look at Willis. Oh. This is the hardest decision of Lil's life. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will look at... What's his name? Norganoth? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I can never remember his name. <laughs> Norganoth looked like he's just about to run in. Yeah, I, I think you can see him, like, physically just biting his lip, clenching his fist. Um, yeah, I, I think he's probably about to make a run for it. 
I look back at Lilith. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's have you guys roll some initiative. Uh, okay. Norbin off. Furious. <laughs> well, it, you're done. It's a new, like, that battle's over. We weren't wrong. Okay. So, what is Lilith doing, if anything? Oh, I wish I had spells. <laughs> I gotta, like, the only thing I can even do is Eldritch Blast. That doesn't even do that much damage. What? What? It's a cantrip. It doesn't it's do that much small. damage. <laughs> I guess I'll just do it anyway. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you fire two blasts, and they seem to kind of glance off whatever magical aura is protecting uh, Caius. Oh, yeah. We knew that already, didn't we? I mean, you, you, you'd oh, wait, seen... No, I just, he just... Had... Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it's expressly anti-magic. It's just, like, it's stopped a swing of a mace before. Um, okay. Yeah, that, that's a thing you've seen. Okay, well... Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So then, uh, in that length of time, then, um, Caius is going to continue drawing whatever this is out from the fallen body of Trogdor. And Trogdor, at this point, um, you fail a death save. And actually, I do need to roll something as well. Um, okay. uh, Trogdor, your max HP goes down by seven. Okay. Um, Norganoth is running in. Uh, let's see. Will he turn back into a normal dragon? Well, let's see what he can do here. Okay. Uh, uh, I have to be right back. No, okay. you stay here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um I think he is as he begins running in. Uh you see Norganoth begin to change forms. As the dragonborn wielding a great sword uh, morphs into the shape of a massive silver dragon. Why did he not just do that before? <laughs> Stupid honor and stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I almost got him. <laughs> Let's see. Um, hmm. So the dragon takes flight and let me measure. Okay. 
the dragon takes flight and makes its way over uh, to a point where it is basically hovering above Trogdor's fallen body. Okay. What happened? Dragon. And you see it rearing up as it flaps its wings. Uh, not sure if it's about to attack Caius or try and pick up Trogdor. But it's going to do something. Um, okay. So then at that point, legendary action, Trogdor, you are going to fail another death save. Oh, we're gonna have to killing me literally. Maya. Okay. Maya might die because of this. She's gonna do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna dash by spending a key point okay. and move myself really all the way here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I'm going to attack him. Okay. And your attacks count as magical, correct? Yes. Okay. And there is nothing that I can find saying I cannot use two key points. That I can use two key points. I just can't use more than one action. So, yeah, it's, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to try and attack him. Okay. Does that hit? Does not hit. Oops, uh, I did not mean to do that second one, the last one. Okay. Um, yeah, so the two quarter staff uh, blows just stop short of the skeleton or the skull. Okay. That sucks. Okay. That's it? Yeah, that's. My movement, my bonus action, and my action. Okay. So, yeah, at that point, the inhaling continues and gets stronger. Um, and you watch as the crumpled form of Trogdor begins to dissolve. And as it breaks apart, it follows the stream of whatever else had been drawn in the Caius and seems to disappear inside of the open skeletal mouth. And... Yeah, that's... That's what happens. So now the skull is still floating there. Norgonoth doesn't get a le legendary action? Um, we're getting there. Yeah. Thing is, uh, Caius beat him at initiative. Oh, so legendary so, actions. Yeah, since, since they both get legendary actions, I'm rolling with, like, you know, we'll let them do them in initiative order. Um... So, as that's happening, and as you see the last bits of Trogdor's disintegrated body flowing into the skull, um, we see Norganoth. Um, and he draws his long, scaled neck back, inhaling now of his own. And uh, <laughs> Maya, you can, you can feel next to you, you're not hit by it, but you can feel this sudden chill as this blast of freezing cold, um, just magical ice and snow uh, just sprays across almost the entire visible uh, part of the cavern to you. 
and I need to make a save for Caius here. Or you could just auto fail because he's a dick. <laughs> dick. Uh, Not itchy. Alright. And so, roll some damage. Just gonna go ahead and roll my 13d8 here. Yep. Because dragon. And yeah, so this blast of, of magical cold sweeps across the skull and you see ice begin to form all around it and the fractured pieces begin to um, fall further apart as the um, the moisture in the air kind of crystallizes, driving them uh, apart. And the skull shrieks again, a familiar sound by now. And as it does so, you see the blue flame uh, erupt up out of its mouth and just vanish as the skull falls down to the ground and shatters. And then... It's quiet. I guess let's pick it up from there next week. <laughs> <laughs>